Okay, we're going to prepare this brisket for uh, putting on the pit. I want to be sure we get enough, uh, we get a rub on here. And so we've prepared a very simple salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of uh, chili powder. Uh, you can use anything like that, but for the most part, uh, a lot of the Texas uh, barbecue associate or Texas barbecue uh, restaurants use a pretty so simple mixture of salt and pepper. And so we want to be sure we get enough of that on there on the outside to coat because really all of that flavor for the most part is going to be on the outside along the edges of the product. So you get a part of that and then you get uh, the, the lean from the inside. And so to do that, we're going to sprinkle this pretty good, but we're also going to rub it in. So we get it in between these fibers, get it in between uh, on the fat portions so that we make sure that we've got it where it is in there good. One of the things, and I should have already done this, but one of the things that we wanted to be sure that we showed too was you remember all the muscle fibers are running this direction. Now, I remember that today, but after cooking this, I may not remember it, or somebody else may be involved in cutting these. To be sure that we cut across the grain, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a small cut so that now I know this is the edge where I'll start making my slices when we have the brisket prepared. Now be sure I get this coated all the way around on all the edges. I'm using some physical action to be sure we get it in there good. The other thing that I'll mention is it takes less seasoning really to do a number of briskets than to do just one because I'm going to have a lot left in the, uh, on the tray here that really I don't have any place to go with. If I had another brisket, I'd be able to pick that up and to utilize that piece or that amount of the seasoning when we go to the next uh, brisket. But just doing one, I've got to be sure I get everything coated. I get it all covered well. So that when it goes on the pit, we start getting smoke. The seasoning can start working its way into uh, the lean with that juice as it starts to uh, be a available to help move through and around those muscle fibers. So I'm going to be sure, got even the ends coated. And there are people who really enjoy those ends and the sides and, and the pieces even that are, that are heavily seasoned. So you're okay to do that and get that extra flavor associated with them. So to me, that would be a brisket that would be well seasoned. Now all we've got to do is get our pit started and we'll start cooking.